What's up guys? It's Ryantium here, and before we get into the mod showcase today guys, I just wanted to let you know a little bit about what's about to happen in the very near future as far as mod showcases and what's going on in my life. So I'm taking a little bit of time to go and see my wonderful girlfriend, but that means that I had to pre-record quite a few videos, and so the way I'm doing this is instead of doing the voting while I'm gone, what we're gonna do is down there in the comment section, guys, we already have all the mods scheduled for when uh, for when I'll be gone. So we have this week's mods done, we have next next week's dot mods done, and then the week after that, we have all the mods scheduled until I come back, which is about the 18th or the 19th of July, 2018. So if you guys are ready to see all these mods, let me know how excited you are down there in the comment section, because all the mods we've been voting on for the past, I think, three weeks, you're going to get a chance to see it, and you'll be able to mark the calendars to make sure that you can check it out at noon Eastern Standard Time whenever I upload them guys plus we're gonna continue to do the weekend mod showcases while I'm gone as well because those I have pre-recorded as well so guys no mod showcases are going absolutely anywhere they're going to stay right where they're supposed to be so while I'm gone you guys are gonna have plenty of videos for to check out so with that being said let's get into the mod showcase we are back in Skyrim that's right you guys and oh snap it's going to be an awesome freaking day, but first, if you guys haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on all social medias and check out my website. Links are down there in the description. So guys, welcome back, and happy functionality slash free Friday. That's right, you guys. So out of all the mods you guys voted for on the last week's episode of Functionality Friday, this is the one that won. Convenient Horses. Now... My girlfriend was actually one of the first people that kind of turned me on to this mod um, because of how useful it can actually be. So I went ahead and pre-recorded, I think, about 10 minutes of footage, which I can go ahead and uh, roll now. That way you guys can see exactly what, you know, what this mod has to offer and uh, what it can look like and what it can do for you and how to get started. Only thing better than riding a swift home. Suppose so. You've got a deal. It's the one with the saddle. Warm beds. If it's work you need, sure thing, it's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Need anything else? Just let me know.
I don't think so. It would seem so. It can't be helped. You expect me to believe that? Nah, I don't think so. So yeah, there's some pretty cool things inside of this mod that will allow you to actually use horses. So let me go ahead and put up on the screen exactly what you can use uh, and what you can do uh, to make sure that you, you get the most out of this. So let me read some stuff from the mod description. So it features mounted harvesting of ingredients, mounted interaction with people and corpses, mounted combat horse charge, horse stabling, naming, and quick swapping, horse encumbrance system and mobile storage, Horse dialogue interaction and fast dismount. Horse follow and combat behavior customization. Horse whistle and calling. Horse attribute training. Horse equipment crafting and discovery. And followers horses and mounted combat. So there's a whole lot in this mod that you guys can check out on your own. But I'm going to showcase a few of the things uh, in today's mod showcase like I did in the, you know, you saw kind of it uh, in the way to get through the Convenient Horses quote-unquote quest. But I kind of want to show it to you a little bit more in depth. So we're out here in the plains of Whiterun, in the tundras, and we're out here just chilling on the back of our horse. Now, the horse has the Traveler's Pack on the back, which is a very cool static decor that actually makes you look like you're a traveler running through the, you know, the fields of Whiterun and the hills of you know Markarth and stuff like that super super cool and super pretty but let's see let's find some stuff along the road to go ahead and pick up now if you just go ahead and walk right up to it in the vicinity it will go ahead and pick it immediately so we had the blue mountain flowers added to our inventory so now those are inside of our inventory not the horse's inventory and that's what I like about this this just adds it straight to your inventory as opposed to the horse's inventory now the quick dismount is a double tap of A, but what's nice is you can actually customize everything that you have as far as controls. So if we go ahead and go into the dialogue open screen, we're right here. Need more training. The more you ride your horse, the more you use your horse in combat situations, in running situations, in traveling, anything like that, the more they level up. And I believe it said they can level up to level 10. Training level 1 of 10. So the experience is level 58 of 1000. So it takes a little bit to level them up, but it levels up strength, endurance, and speed, which is pretty cool to see. Now we can go and back out of that. Now let's see, I want to manage my inventory, which means I can store all my alchemy ingredients, smithing, and cooking. Um, and then, you know, maybe can we do like a custom one? Yes, we can. Okay, good. So you can actually just put your stuff inside of there and it can carry it. Now that's kind of cool. I like the fact that you can store stuff inside of your horse now as opposed to just having the stuff inside of you. Now, we do have our Nord Rider's Horn, which, as you guys saw in the mod showcase, kind of the pre-recorded footage without commentary, that is how you summon your horse. So if you're somewhere away from your horse and you want to summon them, you can absolutely do that. Now, let's see. Let me read a little bit more from the mod description. So it says, Once you own a horse and have been riding it, find a place to sleep for at least eight hours and dream about all these unimaginable things. The dream would leave such a strong impression on you that you will immediately want to go to your horse and try to recreate the nightly experience. 
If you become clueless, then just follow your own intuition and notes written in a quest log. When you complete the introductory quest, the mod will be fully open to you with all its features. So that's kind of what you guys saw at the beginning of the pre-recorded footage, so it's kind of nice to see. But, I gotta say, it, it makes me want to use horses, because as someone who's never really who has never really used horses, this is certainly something that I would love. There's also a, a you know an option to make it anywhere you're at their home. Which is actually kind of cool. So they will always be here. Or if you had like a player home, you could always assign them to here. Which is really, really cool. And we're bringing back the name Phoenix from the Let's Play. Hashtag uh, throwback. But let's see, we'll go ahead and do that. Let's get a little bit more uh, daylight. I uh, can't wait when enemies are nearby, huh? Okay, that's fine. Well, I don't see any enemies, but uh, that's fine. But, so the horse inside of its inventory, we can go ahead and customize it, in fact. So check this out. Your equipment needs changing. So we have the original, we have the uh, Traveler saddle on, we have the Imperial saddle, which is an Imperial saddle, and then we have Bareback, and then we also have the original equipment that was on there before, but truthfully, I think the Traveler saddle is a great fit. I think it looks pretty dang cool. Now I'm not sure about any other, you know, uh, I'm not sure about any other features as far as customizable options for the actual horse. I would imagine the further up the, you know, the further in the level you go with your horse, maybe there's more skins that it can unlock, maybe more skills, all sorts of that stuff, but it is kind of a nice feature to have to just materialize your horse right next to you. It kind of reminds me of The Witcher 3 with Roach, except Roach would just kind of materialize out of nowhere and get stuck in all the polygons of the world. But I gotta say, I would definitely use this. I would keep this installed in my load order. And if you want to know where I put it in my load order, you can check the mod description, or you can check the video description to see all the mods that I'm running um, alongside it. So you guys can see exactly what I'm using. But kind of a nice mod to have. Um, and I have to thank, one, my girlfriend, and two, the people that have been suggesting it, uh, suggesting it in the comment sections for me to do a showcase on. Because... I think if there's ever a Let's Play in the future, we're using convenient horses, and I think fast travel will no longer be a thing that I like to do, because it's just nice running around on your horse, because this time, it's actually useful. So guys, I very much hope you enjoyed today's mod showcase on convenient horses, and if you did, make sure you guys let me know down there in the comment section. And guys, I will see you in the next video.